guys, it's uh, Sunday. I'm not even sure of the date. It might be like the 25th or something like that of August. We're in Lindsay at the Ramada Inn. We're about to start, sh shart. we're about to start the hasty Highlander route and um, joined this day on, on this route by Reinhardt. There he is. Say hi, Reinhardt. Hi, Reinhardt. <laughs> hi, Dean. Hi, Dean's people. There you go, perfect. Awesome. Reinhardt has his own YouTube channel too. It's called Ride with Reinhardt. Or wait. <laughs> yeah, Ride with Reinhardt. Yeah. yeah, I was going to say Reinhardt Rides, but yeah, I had it right. Um, yeah, so that's the name of his channel. Go check it out. He's done a lot of cool stuff on there. He's gone to the Great Divide Mountain Bike Road, the Le Jog Road, uh, all that good stuff. So check it out for sure. We're pretty anxious to get back on the road and get going and started on this route. So we're going to do it. We're well rested and everything. Uh, maybe if Reinhardt's up to it later, we'll do a kind of a bike check and stuff like that. So. I'm sure he will be. He loves his bike, right? Of course I do. <laughs> All right, we're going to roll. The Kawartha Classic Cycling Tour. Late August. It's late August. guys this is the start of the hasty highlander right here so this is the start nice start to the hasty we're on we've been on it for so long like about 30 seconds but yeah anyways good to be on it we'll see what she has to offer Buddy, you got your ball? You got your ball? Start it. Yes. Even on hot days, it's nice and cool. Yeah. Why not? Yeah, that's the problem with being on the road is you get on some of those steep, long climbs and you just sweat to death because you're not oh. going fast enough. And then for me, I get down the other side, I go downhill and I get cold because of the sweat on me. I've had the sniffles a couple of mornings. Yeah. Morning. Nice people. Good morning. A guy I watch on YouTube, uh, kind of a mountain biking channel, it's called Burn Peak, it's Burn Peak actually. And he uh, he does a lot of mountain biking stuff, but he also just does a lot of cool stuff. And he got one of those big fat dummies he was trail riding with it. You guys know I love this kind of stuff. There's a mom and her baby.
Yeah, pretty sweet marshlands here, guys. Really sweet. Some ladies back there doing a little bird, and there was a mom and her baby. I think we scared them away on them, but it's Reinhardt up there. Looks like we have this for quite a while rail trail, so we're gonna enjoy it. Great day for riding, a little hot, not much wind, so, and what there is is pushing us, so good times. That is a vast wetland, guys, check it out. It goes all the way back to that tree line back there. It's pretty sweet, and all the way back there to that tree line. Pretty sweet. Nice view there guys, plugging away. It's a little thicker than it was before, but not bad at all. So the route is normally meant to be done uh, counterclockwise, but we're doing it clockwise. Just works out better for us. All right kids, we're in Fenelon Falls. We're gonna grab a coffee at the Tim's. I'm thinking it's just up here. And I just got a drink alert on my Garmin, so they must know it's coffee time. All right, we had a good stop at the uh, Tim Hortons in Fenelon Falls, and now it's getting back on the trail, heading north. Good times. All right, just walking along the Fenelon Falls area here. I mean, riding along for Christ's sakes. Lots of action going on around here. Blowing up the uh, paddle boards. All right, next fuel, 75 kilometers. Fancy pants looking place being built here. I'm not sure what that is. It's a resort living. I am thinking that's out of my price range when it's done. All right, good stuff. Water looks nice and clean. All right, still cruising along the Victoria Rail Trail. Obviously a really wide spot. So far it's been pretty quick, but we're just outside of Lindsay. So trails are usually a little better just outside of towns, right? So how do you think? What are you thinking about the weather today? Oh, the weather's awesome. Absolutely perfect. Yeah. Nice thing like Reinhardt was saying earlier about the rail trails is you get a little mix of sun and shade, so it's nice. You're not baking out on a road all day long like a baked potato. Yeah, Further north we go, the more possibility we have of wildlife, although midday is not the best time to see wildlife. So a little beaver lodge right there. Beavers are the architects of the nature world, people. Back in the day, I think when that when they first came over to Canada, Europeans, they slaughtered beavers by the thousands for their pelts, but they managed to survive, so. Thanks. I wouldn't mind living right there, guys. Get yourself a nice boat. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna snap a couple photos and then we'll get going. We've been cruising along pretty good. I think we've covered about 
33 kilometers. Just riding through a beautiful section of forest here. Got a river to our right. Been going uphill at about one, two percent for a bit here. Almost in Kinmount. Stop for some ice cream, a sandwich. All that good stuff. All right, we're just in Kinmount, Ontario. For those of you that just joined in. Looks like a really nice spot. Looks like we got a falls or a, even a dam. No, it's a, just a water control. I don't know, I'm talking up my ass right now. Nice, 50 kilometers in by 1217, so pretty good. I don't think I've been here. Little lock system there. Wow, they got a real nice trail head set up here. There you go. I've been saying to Reinhardt, I think there's a cannabis store in every town in Ontario now. There's one there. Yeah. All right, guys, we just stopped in Kinmount, Kinmount and we came to the general store here and got some ice cream. Uh, pretty cool little place, Kinmount, like a lot of the small towns, right? Um, I got myself Death by Chocolate. And Reinhardt, what do you got? I have a salty caramel truffle. Wow. Absolutely amazing. So sounds extravagant. So anyways, we are gonna eat our ice cream and then get back on the trail. Um, it's been a good day of riding so far, 50K by noon, by about 12, 15, so I uh, can't complain. Little climbing out of Kinmount. Love the rock of the north. Remember that as a kid going up north. You started knowing you were getting more up north when it looked like this. We're not too uh, far from Algonquin Park, Algonquin Park actually, so pretty north. Very north of Windsor, that's for sure. Look at that traffic. Sacre bleu. Burton County, as the sign you just saw said. A little climby, but that's what to be expected. Township of Minden Hills. My friend Marnie used to live in Minden, the actual town of, or actually just south of it, but she now lives in Cape Breton, which is pretty sweet as well. All right, here's a Matt Katie special, dead end. No trip. Matt wouldn't do that. Matt wouldn't do that. Today. Yeah, he would. All right, so far so beautiful. It's really nice back here. I suppose you could probably do uh, some wild camping along some point here. Hasn't been too many good spots for that that I've seen or any, so whoa or any, but yeah, good stuff. Check it out. That's what we're rolling through right here. Pretty, pretty nice, eh? It was getting hot out on that road too, so it's just a really nice change of pace, if nothing else. 
It's a little climbing path, but uh, they seem to be short, punchy climbs, so. Check this out, guys. Amazing, we're gonna take a second here for sure. Yeah. Those people have it made. Look at that location. Nice. All right, guys, look at that, eh? Succession of falls there. The first one up there is decent size. Got a smaller set here, and then it bumps off here again into a decent size one, too. Oh, that water is ultra refreshing. Don't mind the hairdo, but uh, it is what it is. I'm not Rico Suave or anything like that, so. But yeah. Really nice spot. This is kind of what the Halliburton area is all about, right? So, really nice spot. Might be able to get a better look at that waterfall a little further ahead, so. Yeah, another property over there, I think. Uh, like, right, right there, it looks like, so. Anyways, guys, I'm gonna run up and grab my phone and get some uh, pictures of this, because it's way too sweet to not get pictures of. Quite honestly, some of the ni nicer waterfalls I've been into in a while, so. We're just at that other falls, guys. Uh, Reinhardt's adding a POI in here because it looks like some good spots to, to wild camp, but it's a little hard to see through the trees, but yeah, nice. There's a property on the other side there you can't see. Anyways, I gotta get myself out of this uh, area. <laughs> I like it. it. It's, you know, it's one of the more diverse trails. Yeah, it is. Um, and it's a really good east-west corridor for cyclists. Yeah. You know, in the summer, I'll get at least half a dozen uh, warm showers requests. Um, oh, really? Yeah. Do you do you accept them or? Uh, some of them. Yeah. Depends on our situation. Depends on what's going on, yeah. Um, so, but what out quite often because. careful brushing up against the bushes so that bee attack reminded me of that especially around water So yeah, we're just doing this around here. It looks like the way to go, there's a grass lane on the other side of this. So Reinhardt and I are just doing this little hike a bike around. There we go, That's that wasn't bad. And then we're on this little grass lane. Oh. So it appears we shot out into someone's yard and sorry if we're trespassing people, we will leave. So that was interesting there. And we're into this beauty. Boom. Look at that old tree, what is that? Uh? Old cedar. Look at that old cedar tree or whatever. Thing's huge. 
some old growth here, guys. It's nice to see some really old growth. I don't know how long it'll last, but it's nice to see. All right, guys, another leg buster. I'm just trying to take it easy. It's beautiful in here. This last little punch here, up under the rock. And that's that. Things just got sandy. Anybody that rides bikes know that sand sucks. It's hard on the drivetrain. It's slow as shit. Stay off to the side. I don't know if I mentioned. I forgot to mention. When uh, we stopped in Kinmount, I was waiting for Reinhardt to go to the bathroom and uh, Went to look at the river, didn't see a massive beehive, and I took three stings on my hands. I don't want to say they were murder bees, but the one that stung me on the hand was that big. It was half the size of my finger. And uh, they didn't die. They weren't yellow jackets. And uh, so yeah, luckily I don't have reactions to that kind of thing, but scared the crap out of me, I won't lie. Ran, I, I'll admit it, I ran, but uh, I don't know who win it, right? So yeah, forgot to mention that. Look at this, absolutely splendid. Very nice. It's been one hill after another, but they're not super long, but though they add up, right? So we were at 1,100 feet of elevation before we started this little section and we're at uh, 1650 so not bad back on pavement as you can see so yeah there's Reinhardt there's a car behind him so okay guys we just stopped off at Ted's burger wagon here had ourselves some fresh cut fries thanks Reinhardt for buying me the fries really appreciate it um, there's also a convenience store attached to it, so yeah, good stuff. Be sure to check it out, uh, Ted's Burger Wagon. The fresh cut fries were tasty, so... We're heading for a uh, person that was a host for the Hasty Highlander. Not sure if it was just during the Grand Depart. We, uh, Reinhardt called him, left a message, an email on that, so we're hoping that it's something that could work out. It's always nice when you kind of know where you're going and that it's uh, set up and ready to roll, so... And there was some mention of bunkies too, but no one's gonna get their hopes up in that regards. That's just wishful thinking, not that the set the tent up. But anyways, we're gonna roll pretty soon here, so and get moving. Uh, it's about 4.30 now, getting there, and uh, we're gonna ride till about six-ish. So uh, let's do it. All right, as per usual, off the uh, pavement and onto the dirt and into some climbing right away. Yep. All right, so uh, Reinhard and I were hoping maybe stay at a Hasty Highlander host, but unfortunately uh, his property is being used this weekend, but he told us about another place, so that's where we're headed. We're at uh, 86 kilometers on the day, so it's already a, a good day, so anything else is just a bonus, right? So we should probably have two hands on the wheel right now. All right. I don't know if this might be the stairway to heaven, guys. I'm waiting for Led Zeppelin to start playing. Climbing to the light. Not attacking, taking it easy. I should have probably taken it easier on some, uh, a little easier on some of the other climbs earlier on. It's about to get a lot hotter up here in the sun. crossing over I can't remember what road this is I will put it on the bottom of the screen but yeah crossing over this river um, following this road around all right we're back on the road it's about five o'clock getting some cloud cover at times so it's really nice actually we're uh, 94 kilometers in 
probably be on pavement for the rest of the day. Which isn't too much longer. Another hour or so. Starting to feel a little sleepy now, so it'll be a good night for sleeping, hopefully. So I think we're in a little community of Inglesby. Gotta get the shades on. Heading into the sun. We're not super far now, guys. I'm getting some messages now. Not too shabby, eh guys? Got a fine citizen picking up garbage up ahead, so thank you to him. A couple of them. I don't know if they're doing community service. I don't know the story, right? All right, guys, we got about three and a half K left to get to uh, where we're trying to get to to camp tonight, hopefully. Uh, it's not a guarantee. So we'll see. Feel a little bit tired, like I mentioned earlier. Feeling a little sleepy. We're 106 in, so it should be 110, 111 kilometer a day when all is said and done. So nothing to laugh at. And right now we are at 2,663 feet of climbing. So that's also uh, pretty reasonable as well. The last five, 10 kilometers always seem to take the longest. Right, guys we've stopped at Whitewater Minden we don't know if we're gonna be able to stay here what the story is we're really hoping so it's like a nice place there's all kinds of places here So yeah, it looks like a pretty nice place. Tons of camping spots right here and there's no one here at all. Well, there's one tent over there, but it looks like it's been yeah. left there almost. I'm down with this. Yep. All right, guys, we are in camp. I don't have much battery left. Got the air mattress filling up. Flex tail, best purchase I ever made. Um, we are staying here tonight, 25 bucks per person. There's showers, bathrooms, all that stuff. It's actually not too bad, right? You're going to pay 50 bucks in a provincial park. So we're at Minden Whitewater. There's the river down there. I'll be going down later, showing you guys around. I have to go over there and pay in a second. It's a kind of a self-pay or you can pay cash, but I don't have any. So that's the story. Air mattress is getting full. So uh, yeah, I'll talk to you guys in a bit. All right, guys. I don't know what to deal with that camp, that tent is, but it looks like it's been there for a while. We're set up here. This is Whitewater, Ontario, Minden, Whitewater, Ontario. And uh, yeah, really nice place. Um, $25 all in all actually isn't that bad. They have outdoor showers, um, but they are actually have a, plenty of hot water. Reinhardt and I both had a shower. No issues with the water, hot water running out. Here's Reinhardt set up here. Reinhardt, good day today, buddy. Yeah, man. 109, just under 110 kilometers, 2,800 feet of climbing. Well, that's interesting because my my uh, cycle meter said 115 kilometers. It's yeah, we were. It was 100, just under 110. Okay, well, yeah. well, we'll have to agree to disagree, as we do as gentlemen. But yes, we yeah. had an awesome day. It's a warm day, but hey, uh, it ended well, and we're all showered up, and we're gonna get fooded up, and it's all good. So, yes, yeah. sir.
Yep. Awesome. awesome. Great day riding. Cool. All right, I'm gonna walk down to the water real quick before we lose some light and the GoPro sucks in the low light. So I'm just gonna run down there. I'm not promising, but I'm gonna try to put up the drone tomorrow morning, maybe get a good shot of the river as the sun's coming up and all that stuff. Yeah, I love my hairdo too, so don't worry about it. So yeah, let's just go down to the water real quick. I'll do a quick close and then I gotta eat something. So, all right, let's do it. Uh, you think I would remember, this is an actually a dam. I just can't remember the name of it right now. I can't remember the damn name. Get it? Beaver Tail Dam or Beaver Tail River or something, but. See, this is what happens when you have two people shooting video at the same time. I think it'll say right here what this is. So yes, uh, correction there. Reinhardt was right. We were 115. I forgot, I shut my, I had to restart my Garmin after about 5K, so it makes sense. River Trail, Washout, West Side Trail. Horseshoe Lake Dam, that's what it is. I'll go down there and get a shot of this. This water is moving. come down on this side actually Reinhardt's getting a shot from there these are the old the old equipment here I'm sure they're still using it now they're not that water is refreshing that's for sure yeah she's a moving and it comes down here and then this is where you could jump in for whitewater rafting I'm sure up here Impressive water flow right there because the dam's wide open right now so yeah very cool okay guys now that we're a little ways away from the water I'm gonna take the time to check out uh, to sign out for tonight it was a good day of riding like we said 115 kilometers over 2800 feet of climbing since I forgot about the restarting my Garmin so that's a very respectable day in my books. Um, I'm sure in anybody's books, really. So I'm tired, but in a good way. I'm not completely uh, depleted and I'm not feeling like total garbage. So that's a good thing. And uh, yeah, good day riding with Reinhardt. Um, went through some cool towns and stuff like that. Got pretty hot at times, so not gonna lie, it was a hot day. Um, winds were really minimal for the most part. They were almost a non-factor, so. Anyways, guys, we're at Minden Whitewater, Ontario, and um, we're going to just sign off for tonight, and I'll see you guys in the morning. Cheers.